Well, we're on a little trip, and as we're in the Philippines, it's not wise to ask too many questions where you're going, when you're going to get there, or what's going to happen. We'll just play it by ear and go with the flow. First stop, grocery. Get some snacks and some drinks. I think she's still wearing a face diaper. Yeah. Looks like a nun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Missionary, don't know what Missionary? We've got enough chocolate chips in here and crisps to feed a flipping army. Cool, fuel is 60.4 hours, 80 pence a litre. Look at this, sir, the sweets. Oh, okay. Like ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the definition of confusion. Let's just go, push our way out, and hope for the best. Tyler's still asleep. We've spent the night at this little beach resort called Jespera. It's one of Ken's family members. They have a little reunion. 
So the whole family have rented this little place. It's a load of bunk beds basically in a, in a building, but it's uh, good value for money. Anyway, Jespera Beach Resort, Cagayan de Oro. I think I'm gonna go and check the beach out and have a dip in the ocean. That's a big bottle of rum you've got there. Yeah, I'm drunk last night. Isn't this a nice brown sand beach? Mm -hmm. Looks like the tide's in. <laughs> this is actually my top beach in the Philippines. Is it? Yeah. No. That's because it's the only beach I've been to. Ah, oh, the first <laughs> beach. <laughs> so it's <laughs> Oh, wow. Do you know that's literally glistening the sand in the water it is warm the water is so lovely and warm it's always nice when you've got a beach where you can walk out into the water for quite some distance and you don't all of a sudden take a dive I mean I'm out a fair old way now from the shore and I'm only up to my waist. It's not like Hun Stanton or Great Yarmouth where you're scared to get in the water because it's that flipping cold. This is like, wow, what a lovely temperature. I'm gonna go further out. This is one of those moments to remember. The sun is shining. It's lovely and warm. You're in the Philippine Sea. What's not to like? You enjoying that swim? <laughs> it's salty. <laughs> Just the right temperature for a Pilipina. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain! Fisherman on the starboard bow. You couldn't give us a hand to get down, could you? <laughs> well, we stayed here overnight, just as a stopover. I'm glad we did. What a tranquil little beach. The water is warm and lovely. How nice it would be to wake up to this kind of setting every day. Unfortunately, we have to head off now. We're gonna go into the town, or city should I say, get some breakfast, but it's not over, no. We've got another stop along the way, which I shan't say just yet, but if we do get there, it's gonna be better. <laughs> okay, enough with the BS. Let's head into the city, go and get some munch. And just so I can share with you the pleasures of a Filipino washroom. There's your changing room. <laughs> and then There's shower your room. Shower. They even have male and female toilets. That's it. A toilet Ow. and a bucket. Ow. Enjoy. Why 
while I'm here in Cagayan de Oro, there's a lot of jeepneys. I've never rode a jeepney. Seconds later. Much, much, much later. Well, we're waiting to board a ferry. I have the tickets here, which was 2,800 pesos to take the car across to the island, Comedian Island. And you've got the separate tickets for us, four of us, which was 1,080. Cool. I'll see you on the ferry, Tyler. I've got to drive the car on when I get instructions. Five minutes later. Finally off the ferry, when we came here in 2023, they wouldn't let us on the ferry because we never had the old jab in the arm, so we got turned away. They've done away with all that nonsense now, but we still had to fill out an online form where you've got to fill in your personal details, phone number, and a photograph of yourself. And so when we've got here, they've actually scanned our QR codes we were given in another building before we're allowed to actually leave and go onto the island. But it was simple enough. Let's go. Well, we've stopped at a little resort on Comegan Island. We literally got off the ferry, drove around the island, saw a resort. There was a whole bunch of them. We don't know which one to go for. So we just picked this one and it kind of looks okay. They're all like little chalets. I'll show you that shortly. <laughs> which is quite interesting to say the least but just before the sun goes down I'm going to go for a quick dip in the ocean and do a time lapse of the sun it is quite nice here although I would say the beach is just pebbles but tomorrow hopefully we're going to go out to the Comegan Island sandbank just for a quick visit it's not bad out here you can even take a long walk off a short pier, if you like. Checking out for the night. <laughs> Adios.
the island. Salamat. <laughs> Here we are. Five to seven minutes. Well, we're here. This is the main tourist attraction, I'd say, of Comegan Island. It's the White Sands Sandbank. And uh, it's beautiful, I have to say. It's we, raining, I will open my umbrella. Yeah, we got here early. It's not even six, it's about six in the morning now, which is quite late, probably. We should have got it here e even earlier. But the sun is just rising, the clouds are... Everything is perfect here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you are advised to bring an umbrella here, especially if it's late and one in the day, because it can get really hot. That's why all the tourists, they come here nice and early, while it's still fairly cool. It's not to your own. But yeah, what a beautiful sandbar. It's just one of them things you've got to tick off your list. And of course, you can't come out to the white sandbank without going in. How's the water? This, this, uh, crystal clear. <laughs> it certainly is, look at that. It's so clear, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like your head. It took off of the umbrella. The sun looks like your head. Ta -da! Your head is the moon. Welcome to the Kabuan Beach Resort. Shall we have a look at our accommodation? Well, here we are. We got this on short notice, but it was for four persons, 1,700 pesos. I just thought I'd pick a few problems with it. Number one, the toilet does not flush. You have to fill the system up, take the lid off and fill it up with that hose there. You have a couple of bins, a sink. This is the washroom, the old shower room. The water pressure is pretty crap actually. There's your internet. <laughs> and the worst thing about it, with all that technology sitting in the ceiling there, the internet doesn't work, does it Nicole? No. It doesn't work. We tried multiple times. The one thing that does work, however, is the air conditioner. It was like icebox in here, absolutely beautiful. The beds and the mattresses were, although they're very old, not very nice looking at all. I have to say, it was a good night's sleep. The mattress was nice and firm, I slept well. There is sellotape over this light switch I don't know why 
you have a coat stand there by the looks of it. Uh, nowhere to really put any coat hangers, although outside you have a little line there with one coat hanger on it and a little table if you wanted to sit outside. The actual resort is quite nice. The actual ocean is right there and just over to the left there's a little sandy beach which is really nice and you can wade out into the ocean for quite a long distance. You've got a whole load of these little shallows dotted around here. I guess they're all the same. But yeah, not a bad little place. You know what they say, when in Rome, obviously when in Camegan, I've worn the t-shirt. Well, my time here in Camegan Island is almost up. We'll soon be heading back to Bukinon, but definitely well worth the visit. This is like a sleepy little island. Almost feels like it's been untouched by the hustle and bustle of the outside world. Haven't seen much since I've been here. The little resort that we're staying at Although it's quite pebbly, there's a lovely sandy beach just over there and the sand, you can walk out into the ocean for quite a distance before it reaches your neck and you can just relax. The water's lovely and warm. The white sand bank, although that's a big tourist attraction here, it was well worth the visit, most definitely. Anyway, I'm gonna go and jump in the water and relax before I go. I'm kinda of guessing this is Camegan Island main town centre it's got a Julie's oh and it's got a Gaisano Mall fuel over here on this island is well expensive platinum which is 95 wrong is about 76 pence or 76 pesos per litre in Bukinon it's under 60 in places yeah so they're they're quite expensive here Jolly Bee, over there you're right next to the Subaru there's the Jolly Bee right the Subaru. and also the that this morning. there is the Camigan the first thing you need to do when you get to Camigan Island is this what you call a chopper. Is it? Ha! <laughs> There's a little shop here that sells souvenirs as in t-shirts. Well this is where we're going to get our souvenirs from Camegan Island. This is the shop to come to if you want your t-shirt. Hapon. Do you get many tourists through here? Huh? What? How many aliens a day? About 100? No, less than 100. Minimum of uh, 10 to 20 or 30 people. That was quite a few though. Because huh? this, isn't, this isn't like the kind of island that many people would come to. It's a bit yes, out of the many, way. Yes, many, many. Yeah. Especially foreigners like you. This is the place to come and get your, your souvenirs. That you, <laughs> you can say, I've been to Camigan Island. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Okay. Salamat. Now that Tyler and Nicole have finally woken up, we've decided to take them out to the white sandbar as well. Yep. Yeah. 
Land ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> we can't come here just once in our life. We've got to come here again. Well, this is one island out of 7,000. Well, we've got to go explore more. We have to. Yeah. Have you noticed something? Mm. There's hardly any tourists here. Mm. Mad dogs and Englishmen come out in the midday sun. Apparently, everyone else doesn't. So we've basically got nearly the whole island to ourselves. Tyler and Nicole have gone for a swim, uh -huh. and that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you had some shade, you could probably spend the whole day here, bring some food with you, bask in the sea for as long as you like, and then catch the boat back to the island. I was gonna say earlier, it's a lot cleaner this side. Yeah, I know to go to that side. Yeah, that's more like a pool in the middle. Yeah, it's very deep in the middle. We tried to swim over there, but it's so hard. Now that's what you call a white sand beach. Paradise. I'm living the Philippine dream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never have I ever been to a place so really beautiful. I know, I white told you. White sand, beautiful like tropical waters, wow. Yeah, this is it. And to think I was like, what? 15 hours a flight away from this my whole life? Damn, man. Well, it's not an easy place to get to, I have to say that. <laughs> yeah, but it's It worth takes it. a trek, it certainly is. It's worth it as hell though. Yeah. The actual ocean has covered quite a section of the sandbar. Obviously, when it's low tide, it'll all be exposed properly again. But you can still walk across. It's quite shallow. I shan't walk all the way to the end, but wow, just wow, that's all I can say. Even on the mountains, the clouds are sitting lower than the top of the mountain line. I don't think for one minute the camera does anything justice here. You've actually got to be here to see it with your own eyes to witness the spectacular views. and 46 minutes later <sighs> okay so we decided to stay another day but first thing on my to-do list was to change the bloody hotel Seaside Travellers in Caterman, Camegan Island. Shall we have a look at the accommodation? Okay, here it is. Our new accommodation for the night. A little picture on the wall. The owners here are really nice. They're very friendly, helpful. They brought in this water dispenser for us. They gave us cups, plates, even a kettle with coffee. Nice little settee there. We have a view down to the ocean, a little TV which I never used, another deck chair, a little stand. The Wi-Fi in here works absolutely perfect. And what also works perfect is the air conditioner. We were cool as cucumbers all night long. 
The bed was absolutely excellent. Lovely night's sleep. Double bed there and bunk beds there for Tyler and Nicole. Bedside table lamp. And also, they have this little brochure here showing you all the attractions of the island. Bed sheets, towels supplied, pillows as well. All the lights work, there are plug sockets in the bathroom area. I should put this on widescreen. We have a sink and a mirror. <laughs> Good water pressure. Also the toilet, it flushes and flushes well. A shower there with hot water. Look at that. Very compact, but very nice. All the amenities you need. A little rack there to hide, hold your towels. There's no space anywhere for coat hangers or anything like that. But luckily for me, I've got nothing to hang. But yeah, for 1900 pesos, I have to say for 24 hours, I'm very happy indeed. Lovely little place to stop. Can you see what's ahead of us? Jesus, this is called the <laughs> this is called the sunken cemetery. Jesus, <laughs> the sunken cemetery is 1871. For 150 pesos, you get a trip across the water. Don't trip. What's your name, sir? Joey. Joey. Joey's our our captain. Captain. Aye, 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 captain. We haven't capsized yet. <laughs> an electric bike here in Camegan Island. Uh. We're well, somewhere in the mountains heading towards Tuasson Falls. Well, I thought I'd stop here because that site's bloody awesome. Anyway, let's carry on. We're, we're in hillbilly land here. I'm telling you, have you ever seen the hills have eyes? That's the impression I'm getting here. God, it's refreshing. When we were on the ferry, looking at the island, we saw all the mist and cloud, and there it is. Now we're up almost on top of the mountains. There's all the mist. What an awesome sight. And I'm standing on a piece of road that's so flipping steep, I'm like falling backwards on myself. But wow. And the road, has all of a sudden taken a turn for the worst. A lot of landslide up in this area. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> you can hire motorcycles quite cheap over here just to get you around and go and see the sights and do whatever. I mean, we're driving all the way around the island and we're right out in the mountains at the minute. Sort of like, instead of going around the outside of the mountains, we're going on the inside of the mountain through the middle and it's it's very hilly 
but the sights out here are just fantastic. You have to do it if you come here. Just get some transport and go exploring. Yeah, it's totally raining on the other side of the island and where we are it's nice and sunny Well, we're heading back to Bukinon now. I have to say, Kamegan Island is a spectacular place to visit. I'm so glad I came here. Like I said earlier, I do advise getting yourself some transport. Whether that's a car or a motorcycle, they're cheap enough to rent over here. You can travel all the way round the outside of the island. There's lots of little fast food places you can stop, get your drinks or whatever you need. And if you travel through the center of the island across the mountain, wow, the views are fantastic. And it's nice and cool up there. Just remember that if you're too hot. But yeah, what do you reckon, Ken? It's an amazing place to visit. And also the, the island is so clean. Mm. Very well looked after island. Almost like it's been untouched. Mm -hmm. Very unique. Anyway, we've got a ferry to catch. Sad to say goodbye actually. <laughs> I, I envy the locals who live here. Mm. They've got such a they have self-discipline. They don't throw anywhere the rubbish. No. Yeah. No smell, nothing. No stinky smell in the canals. Come on. Yeah, let's go home. <laughs> home. I should have filmed this, but I didn't. We're at the actual port in Canoogan Island, waiting to go back to mainland Mindanao but just outside the gates of this port there's a bunch of guys sitting by a little hut and as we go past if we're going to turn into this port they stop us and tell us the ticketing office is on the other side of the road one of them jumps on a motorbike and he gets us to follow him around he shows us where the ticketing office is and he sees us gets our tickets and everything like that so that's where you pay then we come in here to this part here where they've got all little desks set up and we have to scan our QR codes again and then show us show them our paperwork that we've got tickets to go on to the ferry and I guess that's it now we just got to wait for the right ferry then we can board it's all a little bit strange but <laughs> we're in the Philippines now Tyler, here we are aboard RMS Titanic, the unsinkable ship. An engineer once said, even God can't sink this ship. <laughs> I'll settle for that. This is the, the top of the ship. I actually don't think we're allowed up here. That's a hell of a view. <laughs> It'll be nice if we can actually have the journey back on the top of the ship. I doubt, it. I doubt it is too, but while we're up here, we'll wait till we get told to get off. Very nice. This is a big ferry. They've got trucks in the hold as well, rather than just cars. The one we came over on was quite a small one. This is a big one. 
We're off. Back to Mindanao we go. Till the next time, see ya.